All right, so uh, we're out here with Brandon. He's got a YouTube channel where he does a lot of car detailing. This is his 335i. It's a 2011, it's a lot cleaner than mine is, but since he's into detailing, I'm gonna have him go over my car and maybe point out some things that are wrong with it, and then he's gonna rate it on a scale of one to Larry from Ammo NYC. We'll see what needs some improvement, so yeah, let's see. All right, but I was thinking about this as you were saying that, I have a white car, so this isn't really a fair comparison. If you were to put the sun on mine, you will see a little bit, but you're gonna see less just because it's white, where this one is a perfect example of how to find the swirls, but I mean, I noticed that there is swirls. There's some random deep marring um, from some sort of pebble or rock or you know mulch or whatever. Um, but there isn't anything extremely noticeable. You know, you have your little, you know, your little love mark there, and a couple of things around it. But it really looks more like. You know, improper washing, um, improper drying, and and that's pretty much it. All right, so the first step we have to strip the paint, and that's pretty much removing. This is a wax and sealant stripper, so anything that's on the paint right now has to come off before we correct it with a correcting compound. So this is by Chemical Guys. You can get all kinds of different ones, but this is the one that I pick. So um, let's just. Put it on the sponge here. And we're using the two bucket method just to keep the uh, contaminants down. Although we are correcting it, might as well do the right process here. Next, we used a NanoSkin Auto Scrub medium grade pad and Iron X. Auto Scrub is similar to clay bar, but a little quicker and easier to use. Iron X removes rail dust and other contaminants that clay bar won't remove. The combination of Iron X and Auto Scrub lifts any embedded contaminants in the surface that normal washing won't get. It's essential especially before correcting and polishing. Swirls you get from improper washing or drying or touching anything that you're... This, like there's this line. That is from a stone, that could be from anything. Even if you're properly washing it, it can still happen. It's just less likely if you you know, are using two buckets and you're being careful, you're inspecting your sponge. Um, but a lot of these will come out actually, a lot of the swirls, but like these deep ones, I can't necessarily feel it with my nail. Normally if you can feel it with your nail, it um, is beneath the clear coat. This is a traditional heavy cut compound. So this is one of the more aggressive ones, um, which I would normally use for this kind of car uh, in this condition. But um, the one with fillers is really appealing to me because um, it makes the job easier. Um, so we're gonna try the traditional method cutting compound. The next step is correction using a heavy cut compound in this case on a microfiber cutting pad. When correcting the paint, spread the product evenly on the panel at a low speed, then turn the speed to your desired optimum correcting choice. Work in small sections and move the polisher in a crosshatch pattern, but use the lines of the car as well. Apply some pressure, but keep the polisher completely flat against the paint whenever possible. Make sure to brush out the pad and switch out pads frequently. So on the hood, um, I already used a different product, so I can't use that, but I'll be using three correcting pads and then two polishing pads on the hood. So if you're doing the entire car, you'll probably be using at least double that. So just keep that in mind. The next step is to polish for a deep shine. 
Polishing is similar to compounding, but you typically use less pressure. A full polishing step will really make the paint pop. Car Pro Essence is really cool because it polishes, fills in scratches we couldn't get, and leaves a layer of protection behind. So there's swirls. You can see the swirls in my camera at least. And then go here. There's not that With the side-by-side -side comparison complete, it was my turn to try polishing. It's harder than it looks. The final step is to protect the paint. We used a water-activated spray sealant called CarPro Hydro 2. This will help protect from future scratches as well as give the paint hydrophobic properties. An alternative for protecting the paint could be a hand applied sealant with wax on top which will make the paint pop even more. So all the products that we use today will be down in the video description like always if you guys want to check those out see some of the stuff that we use. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.